The Mi-262 was the most successful jet fighter developed by Germany during World War II. It made its first flight in April 1941, but before its development, there were several other designs, one of which was the Xi-280 fighter, a more advanced model developed by the Heinkel Company, with a total of nine prototypes built. At that time, the Heinkel Company was at the forefront of jet aircraft technology. The company's He-178 was the world's first truly jet-powered aircraft to take flight, laying the technical foundation for the later He-280. The development project for the He-280 began after the outbreak of World War II in 1939, with the chief designer being Robert Lucer. The He-280 was designed as a practical fighter aircraft, with a streamlined body suitable for high-speed flight, using elliptical wings, with the engines housed under the main wings, using tricycle landing gear, and equipped with horizontal and vertical tail fins at the rear of the body. The fighter was single-seated, and the pilot was equipped with an early ejection seat powered by compressed air. Despite the technological advantage gained from the He-178, the development of the He-280 was not easy, with the main limitation being the lack of high-thrust engines suitable for a fighter aircraft. The original plan was to install the company's self-developed HES-8 engine, but the first prototype did not have an engine installed during its maiden flight in September 1940, and was instead towed by a Xi-111, using ballast to substitute for the engine. The engine continued to limit the development of the Xi-280, with the second prototype being equipped with a jet engine for independent flight. While the first prototype was equipped with a pulse jet engine used for the V-1 missile, the designer once intended to install eight engines on the fighter. With both aircraft being lost during testing, fortunately, the pilot's ejection seat proved effective. In another test in 1942, the He-280 was compared to the FW-109 fighter, with its flight speed significantly surpassing the propeller-driven aircraft. What further interested the military was the engine's ability to burn readily available kerosene, which had strategic value. An attempt to install three 20mm MG-151 cannons on the fifth prototype provided it with a certain combat capability. The military's fondness for the He-280 did not last long, as the Heinkel Company was requested to halt the project development in March 1943. The final prototype made its first flight on August 31st of the same year. There were multiple reasons for this decision, with the military seeking to consolidate the aviation industry and assign research and production tasks to different companies, with Heinkel being required to primarily develop and produce bombers. Another reason was the emergence of the Mi-262 jet fighter, which clearly had more promising prospects. The several engines used by the Xi-280 were not suitable, resulting in poorer flight performance compared to the Mi-262 with lower structural integrity and overall efficiency. If the engine problem of the He-280 project could be solved, it still had some development potential, at least with certain advantages over propeller-driven fighters. However, the gap with the Mi-262 was evident. For example, the maximum flight speed of the Mi-262 was close to 900 km h, while the Xi-280 prototype was just over 800 km h. The Mi-262 also surpassed the Xi-280 in terms of onboard weapons and maximum range. The cancellation of the project was in line with the actual situation at the time. 